Welcome to Talking Giants Player Profiles and Projections, and today we have Will Hernandez, 6'2", 327 pounds, but he said he's lost some pounds, he said he's lost some weight, looks probably, probably around 310, turns 26 in a couple weeks, entering the final year of his rookie deal, it's kind of weird we're doing these PPPs and the Dave Gettleman draft picks are entering the final years of their deal, started 39 career games in a row, didn't miss a snap, guy stays healthy. Bam, he gets the COVID, he gets the coronavirus, and he never gets his job back while rotating in for a drive or two. Now, entering his fourth season, he's moving to right guard. Hasn't played that spot since high school. He looked up, he looked pretty good in, in, in the pre one preseason game we watched. Justin, what are we expecting from Hernandez? Because I think he could be up for, here's something, and I, I'm totally jumping the gun on this. Could we be having... Will Hernandez contract talks in the first half of this season? Can we be like, you know, he should be like, I, I can see that happening. Like, that's my goal. Like, let's let's get Giants fans talking about extending Will Hernandez this year. That's my goal for Will Hernandez. Yeah, I mean, it's also dependent on how well Shane Lemieux plays. Because if Shane Lemieux plays pretty solid, then we're talking about, yeah, maybe we can afford to let Will Hernandez walk. Uh, but also, I can imagine there are a lot of Giants fans that are feeling right now, hey, we shouldn't have let Kevin Zeitler go, and Kevin Zeitler was kind of a kind of a sure thing. You know, you knew what you were going to get out of Kevin Zeitler, and I feel the same thing with Will Hernandez. You know what you're going to get out of Will Hernandez, and if we want that stability on this offensive line, and if he comes out with, you know, is you know, shading some pounds this past offseason, comes out playing that new spot and playing next to Matt Parrott, playing next to Nick Gates, he comes out and he plays solid. I feel like Giants fans are going to want that stability, and I don't think wanting that stability is a bad thing. So, Bobby, here's my main question to you. Maybe if you want to break him down as a player, I don't know. But here's my main question about Will Hernandez, because I feel like fans don't know enough about him. They kind of just talk about him. They try to evaluate him, and they don't know because they don't have an informed opinion. They just want to give a take. How much has Will Hernandez improved from his rookie year? Has there been gradual growth? Or has he just been entered in the NFL, he's been okay, he's been solid, and then that's been kind of it? Has he grown from his rookie year? He has. I mean, he's a meddling player. Like, like run-blocking-wise, I don't think he's grown a ton. But, I mean, he gave up five sacks his rookie year. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, in 2019, he only gave up two. And then in 2020, he didn't play the full season, but only gave up one. Uh, which, like I said, aren't great numbers. But, like, he's, I think he's a meddling player who had expectations to be a really good player. And I think that's Will Hernandez. Like, I think that's why, you know, there's a lot more negative than there is positive Will Hernandez. Like, people treat him like a disaster. He's not a disaster player. Like, he's not my war. Like, when we talk about this offensive line, I'm not worried about Will Hernandez. Like, do I think he's going to go out there and be a huge advantage for the Giants? No. But I'm not worried about him. Like, Daniel Jones' progression as a player should not be stunted because of Will Hernandez. It could be because of Matt Parrott and Shane Lemieux or or if Andrew Thomas, if, if he just, you know, all of a sudden, like, doesn't grow. But... Will Hernandez, the way he plays, his level of play shouldn't stunt the growth of Daniel Jones, where those other guys can. And let's go through some of the numbers. 2019, he gave up two sacks and six QB hits. Again, those aren't great numbers, but like I think those those like if he left the Giants that year, I think he starts for damn near you know almost most teams he starts for them. Um, and again, he gave up five his rookie season. Um, and then in the run game, I think he's solid working combos and and, and on his own. Now, he'll have ugly reps. I mean, if you remember, like, uh, Javon Kinlaw, the 49ers week three, just totally, like, embarrassed Will Hernandez. So, he'll have those reps, and he's kind of, like, boxy and not as athletic pulling. But, I mean, even just to look back at the preseason game, he was pulling and making good plays. Like, he makes good plays as a puller. And I think, like, as a run blocker, he's good. He's he's a I think he's a better run blocker than pass blocker. It's just as a pass blocker, there's... There's bad. There is bad reps. There's times where he's gonna miss a stunt, um, but I don't view him as a disaster like a lot of people do. That's the. It's a little bit of the frustrating thing about Will Hernandez is that the issues that he had his post his rookie year. At least some of the things that I looked at was the speed of the game and you know getting beat on the quick passing moves and you know the the mental the mental side of the game where getting your mind up to speed with the speed of the game and then also the stunts and how to sense the the flow of the game and I you know I hate to formulate a take right now based off of based off of just one play and that that training camp clip that went viral 
that seemed just like a mental error on Will Hernandez of just letting a free rusher come right in. So those are the things that I hope in year four, we are in year four now, the mental side of things, I'm hoping that Will Hernandez can fix it up because physically he is not Quentin Nelson, but physically he has the tools to do it all. And, you know, similar to the other interior offensive linemen that are around him, he has a little bit of that nasty streak and that, and that mean streak to put you on your behind. And that's what we want. And that's what Giants fans love. So physically, he physically has always seemed to have it all. It is just the mental side of things that I think is preventing him from everybody saying that this dude is here and he's here to stay and he shouldn't go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, he, he like you mentioned, you mentioned like the NASA, like he finishes every single block, you know. And I know sometimes that annoys people because he seems like he gets in like a he gets a little shove after every play, and it's like you know, hey, maybe stop worrying about that, and worry about your play. But he, but as as a pass blocker, like you said, there's mental mistakes. But like when Will Hernandez, like when he gets there and he meets that defensive lineman, his ability to mirror a defensive tackle is beautiful. Like it looks really good. Now there's times where he can get bull rushed. But he's not like he's not getting embarrassed the way a Shane Lemieux does, or you know we only saw one preseason game. But the way Kenny Wiggins is like Will Hernandez doesn't have those embarrassing pass reps. He can have some in the in the run game that are, are pretty ugly, but those pass reps he's he's not getting embarrassed. And you know like and I and I also think he got a little too much heat his rookie year for Nate Solders being bad, where it's like oh he's playing next to a rookie. It's like no Nate Solder was just kind of bad on his own. If he put in the work this offseason, like I'm not, don't expect him to, like you said, to come up and live up to pick 34. But I do think we should be at the end of the season or or whenever talking about trying to get him back on a reasonable deal. You know, like I don't think he's a, I don't think he's a player you just throw away. I have a question about the right side of the offensive line last year that maybe we can relate it to 2021. How much did Kevin Zeitler help Cam Fleming? in terms of pass blocking or even run blocking and working with combos and things of that nature. Cause we're looking at this year of Matt Parrott basically being a rookie and, you know, basically playing the right tackle spot for the first time in his NFL career and being a starter. How much can Will Hernandez help Matt Parrott and how much did Kevin Zeitler help Cam Fleming last year? And does that matter at all? No, it, it does matter. And that's where Hernandez is, is a, is like a bigger downgrade than Zeitler. You know, like, if you're just talking about, like, just ability, it's like, you know, he's not too far off. You know, Kevin Zeitler is a much better pass blocker. But, like, Kevin Zeitler sometimes sacrifices his own play to help Cam Fleming. Like, having Kevin Zeitler next to you instead of, you know, whoever, you know, who was the right guard and, um, you know, Jamal and Brown. Like, it does make a huge <laughs> difference of being able to pass stuff off. Like, Cam Fleming, like, his whole job, basically, and why he wasn't, like, a total disaster thing there, he was bad. It's like he's like just wash those guys around. Like trust me with the stunts and stuff. And sometimes Kevin Zeitler sacrificed his own play to help Cam Fleming. Um, I don't think Will's ever going to do that for Matt Parrott. You know, like I don't think I don't think having Will next to him, like he's like, oh, he's got that veteran presence next to him. Um, so I, you know, if if I'm if I'm an opposing defensive coordinator, I am saying stunt the crap out of Matt Parrott and Will Hernandez. Like I really am. Like I am. Like you, you know. Let's stunt the crap out of them because Thomas and Lemieux, even Thomas Hernandez, like Thomas knows when those are coming. Even when he's even when he struggled uh, to start the year, there was one bad blitz pickup by Andrew Thomas. But like Thomas w- was kind of saw those things coming. If I'm gonna, that's where that's where the worry is with Will Hernandez. It's like, are they gonna are they gonna stunt the crap out of Matt Parrott and Will Hernandez and us be really like that is what will turn us really negative on Will Hernandez yeah. is if you're making those mental mental mistakes because just the physical ability you know just the art of blocking I'm not worried about Will where I am worried about Will is like teams just abusing him and Matt Parrott like that. I just uh, made a really big gulp as soon as you said I if I were a defense coordinator I would stunt the crap out of the right side of the offensive line. I just made a really big gulp uh, when when you said that, but you know the the hope is last year with COVID, right? Because that's ultimately what it was during the season and during the 2020 season. We were like, well, what? Yeah, he is confirmed it because we were. I mean, yeah. anyone who watched film was flustered that Shane Lemieux was playing over Will Hernandez. We were, he confirmed it this year on like those Giants Huddle podcasts. Like, yeah. I I had COVID and it was bad. And also, Ruben didn't he? Didn't he go on Ruben's show and he said something about it too? Uh, I know he went on Ruben's show the year, last year. I don't know if he did it recently. All right. Well, anyway, Zona Gigantes, check out that interview. Even if it was two years ago with Will Hernandez, it was really, really cool. So, 
he did confirm it this offseason. While well, last year we were like, is it something off the field? Because you know, Hernandez was one of those guys where he's not too good. He's like, oh, this guy's too good to not be playing. But also it was Lemieux was such a bad pass blocker that we were saying, well, why is Hernandez not out there? So hopefully with that year that basically was off for the second half of the year, taking those mental reps and having a chance to step away from the football field and evaluate the game from not just the physical point of view, but the mental side of things, which is what he needs to work on. Having the chance to do that while also improving your body, cutting some weight, getting some of that, you know, that, that fat off, maybe unnecessary fat, doing all those things will hopefully combine in a much better new and improved and career best year for Will Hernandez on a contract year. That's the hope. Do it. Will make yourself some money. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Until then, let's go Big Blue.